Hello, for the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play, uh, Life is Strange, um, don't remember what it's called. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, till he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. Could take a while. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people. But I only remember him. And then he said, I know. That's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. True colors. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Um, I don't really want to be on anybody's side here, but... No, Alex didn't hear the whole thing. Alex heard him say, I'm going to phone. And then she heard him say, I phoned. She didn't actually hear the phone call. And since I've only got two options here, I might as well go for the truth. I have to say, before this argument started, you know, I hope that when I do go... There were this many people who care enough to, to say goodbye. I must have been a great person. Anyway. Well, I didn't. 
I didn't hear Gabe make the call. But he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Or oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry, it's not, I'm just trying. I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? It. Wait's over. Everyone out. Now it seems to me that if Mac had got on the call and he was lying about it, then he won't admit that he was the one on duty and therefore he should have gotten the call. That doesn't make sense. Sorry, not not why and Mac. Mac wouldn't have said that. But there's absolutely no reason knowing that Ethan was possibly within the blast radius, knowing that he was in those caves, there's absolutely no reason why Gabe wouldn't have made the call. So, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't believe that Gabe would have lied about the call. I don't think Mac is lying about not receiving the call. So, I don't know. Hey, fuck those guys. <sighs> yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I, I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure.
You play guitar? Hmm. Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Yeah, it might also, well, y y there was a time when you beat Matt up because you tried to do this. I wonder how she's really holding up. Okay. out what's really going on with Steph. Hmm. If you can get this to work, you know, you might actually be able to use this thing as a superpower, not a curse. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. 
can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Mm. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a particularly nice thing to do. The staff really wanted to leave. I don't think there's any more stuff to look at. I think, uh, I think that's it. I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Well, I, I mean, I figured that we'd covered that. Okay. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You um, what? I think I know enough to help her now. Okay. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. All right, let's, let's get straight to it. I was hoping to ease into this gently. Did Gabe tell you we played? Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. Asshole. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. You know, Steph, you do kind of suck at this. I'm sorry, but I am hands down <laughs> beating you here. And Five I points. suck at this. Best game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, <laughs> timing. <coughs> And the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. <sighs> we love you, Alex! <sighs> Strip sucks! <sighs> okay, fuck you. I want a rematch. You're on. Huh. 
I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. <laughs> Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. I take it back, you, when you're trying, you're not bad actually. one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Totally. So are you into girls or what? <laughs> Don't sweat it. I was just trying to get in your head. The only thing in my head right now is crushing you at foosball. <laughs> oh, shit. Lose what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> so, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Mm. I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye.
I know Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? I don't know, but it's safe now. It's been about 25 minutes, so I'm going to end the episode there. I'll see you next time.